Now, Leonardo was a consummate artist, and he uses every trick there is in the book to really get every ounce of meaning out of the story that he's trying to tell. And the first one is about space. We see a long table in a room. And not only we know that this person in the middle must be important because he's in the middle. And we see usually if somebody is centered, then they are important. It used to be before they got to the Renaissance and this interest in in, um, observing from real life, it used to be that if you were the most important, not only were you in the middle, you were also bigger than everybody else. But that isn't the way it works. So in real life, the only way you can do it is to put somebody in the middle. But he emphasized that by the way that he drew the build, the, the room around them. He used vanishing point perspective, and he made the vanishing point vanish. The vanishing point is basically, and here I'll just line these up with my two rulers, the, the edge where the ceiling meets the wall. They come to a point right on Jesus' face. Okay? So... That is a very strong, you may not really be aware of it when you're just taking in a picture, but all these lines, we've got all these lines of the coffered ceiling, and every one of them is pointing right to him. The lines of the, of the windows, we look at them and say, well, they're windows. And then you look more closely and you realize that they're pointing you right to him. So... Given the way this is set up, there is no way that you can possibly be mistaken about who the hero of the story is in this picture. 